Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my November favorites, and as much as I want to take this time to explain why I've been so inconsistent with videos, I will not, because I know that's very annoying, so if you want to know, it will be in the down bar fully explained, but other than that, let us begin this video. I do not have that many favorites this month, actually, um, so I only have two makeup favorites, well, three if you count, like, body kind of stuff, but the first one is actually something that I got from Little Black Bag last month, which I'll have an unboxing video for them. I just, I filmed it a couple weeks ago and I haven't had time to upload it and I wanted to get this up really quickly, but this is the Youngblood Mineral Radiance in Riviera and it is just this nice little bronzer and it's just, it's really natural, doesn't come off like making me look like Snooki or anything and I like the blush. I haven't really used the blush that much because I've been into like cream blushes and like liquid blushes and stuff like that. The second favorite is actually a sample that I got from Sephora, which I have a unboxing video for that too. Woo! Um, and it is the Perfect Beauty Radiant. It's actually like a skin perfector, and mine, well, it's, it's a skin perfector, and mine's in Radiant. And you basically, after you take all your makeup off and put your moisturizer on, you put this on, and it basically like smooths out your skin's coverage, which I really like this. I use it before I go to bed, and I actually asked for the full size of it for Christmas because I want to be able to use it every single day instead of having to use my tinted moisturizer, which is getting a little bit too moisturizing for me. The last beauty favorite that I have is Philosophy's um, Old Fashioned Eggnog Shower Gel Shampoo and Bubble Bath. And this just, it smells like eggnog. And... I, I, as you can see, I've used this a lot because I'm getting into the Christmassy mood, if you can't tell by the Christmas lights surrounding my room. So, moving on to random favorites that are not movies, books, TV shows, or music. Let's just do that. I only have a couple of those. The first one is my La Vanilla Healthy Candle and Vanilla Grapefruit, which um, I did get from Little Black Bag, too. And I've used a healthy amount of it. Haha, <laughs> get it? And it smells really good. It smells a little bit like soap. It smells a lot stronger than it comes... Well, it comes off about the same scent, but it's not as potent. But I like this. It's a big candle. I haven't even... Like, I've burnt this for, like, ever, and I'm not even, like, halfway through it. So I have two kind of food favorites, and the first one is my Celestial Seasonings Green Tea in Blueberry Breeze. And this stuff is awesome. Like, it smells like, oh, I love the smell of tea, but I only drink blueberry tea. That's probably weird, but whatever. The other food favorite, which is actually my last random favorite before I move on to the, you know, personal likes, I don't know, kind of thing, um, <clears throat> are these Annie Chun's roasted seaweed snacks, and these are sesame, and I like the wasabi ones too, but they're basically dried seaweed sheets, which I know sounds really disgusting, but they are so good, especially if you like, like, you know, Japanese food or something like that. Like, if you like sushi, you will like this. I know a lot of people don't like sushi, but I mean, give it a chance, okay? It's really good. You can find it. I don't know where you can find it, but you can find it places. By the way, my dad took me to Sonic after my eye exam today, so I'm a little bit happy. Um, I have to get glasses. They're coming in in like a week and a half. <sighs> I don't want to wear them. The first show that I've really been getting into is Portlandia, which is really funny. It's TV 14, so you guys can watch it. It's TV 14. It's really funny. It's, oh, it's just like, it's sarcastic and witty and I just love it so much. Can't believe I forgot to mention this first. Breaking Bad. I honestly, like, um, one of my friends got me into it. I didn't think that it was going to be that good. But it's actually really, really good. And people need to give it a chance. Get past, like, the first episode, second episode, and you'll really get into it. I'm so, so far, I really like the second season. I'm only on season two because I'm a slacker. Whoops. Um, but just watch it. It's really good. I also watch Revolution, which is a really good show. Um, it's high up on my list right now, so if that gives you any idea. The Mindy Project is really good, which, um, it's, I just, Mindy Colling. I love her. Oh, Thursday Night's also Glee comes on, but I don't really watch it anymore in case any of you are wondering. It just, I'm not pleased with it right now. It's really boring and it's 
basically like different takes on things that happened in like the first season. Moving on to movies. Movies that I've seen this month. I went to go see Lincoln. Lincoln was really good, really powerful, but a really long movie. And I honestly left the theater for about 20 minutes because I, like my head started to hurt. And that's why I need glasses because um, my, I have really bad vision, like, like anything that's not like directly in front of me, I have really bad vision about. So I have 2100 in this eye, which is bad. And the whole reason I had to go is because of my permit. I went to go get my permit. And they told me I couldn't get my permit because of my eyes. Um, but, saw that. I love Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He played um, Robert Lincoln, which is Abraham Lincoln's oldest son in the movie. It was really powerful. Like I said, really long though. Cheerful Weather for the Wedding, which has Felicity Jones in it. I don't know what the guy's name is, but it is such a good movie. It's an independent film. Um, it's about this guy, this girl, and she's getting married, and then like her like former lover comes to the thing who's like a friend of the family and her mom and like her sister know that you know they were in love once and everything and then you kind of have to watch it it's really good I'm not I I'm very picky about independent films but I really like that one I watched Liz and Dick the one about Elizabeth Taylor and um something or whatnot I don't know what his name was they were in Cleopatra together had Lindsay Lohan in it. Thought it was gonna be kind of good. It was so boring. The guy that played, well, the actor that played like the main character guy, like uh, whatever his name is, um, was really good. Um, but Lindsay Lohan was just painful to watch. It was just, it was so painful. Music. So basically, my music taste did like a three, like maybe not a three sixty, a one eighty. In the past couple months and I don't know if you guys have noticed that but um yeah I did a really big turnaround but basically I, I've been into these bands before it was probably around like seventh or eighth grade I was into these bands and then ninth grade I just kind of like went with the flow and liked everything now I'm getting more picky about my music I tend to judge a lot of music which is bad but um I've really been listening to The Shins, in particular, their new album, Port of Morrow, um, and the song September is my favorite on that album. Um, uh, my Head is an Animal by Of Monsters and Men, that whole album, but my favorites are Six Weeks, um, King and Lionheart, and Mountain Sound. Basically, anything Circa Survive or Anthony Green, which Anthony Green is the lead singer of Circa Survive, but he has his own solo album, which... For those of you who don't really like independent kind of music, like, well not, it's just alternative music, it's not really, it's not independent, it's alternative, um, check out the song Only Love by, um, Anthony Green featuring Nate Roos. Nate Roos is the lead singer of Fun, so you guys might like that because I know a lot of people like Fun. If you kind of like some more, like, hardcore, you know, maybe some, a little bit of, a little bit of yelling, not really, not screaming, just a little bit of yelling. Um, I recommend Song for the Broken by Close Your Eyes, Tonight We Feel Alive by Four Years Strong, El Paso by Taking Back Sunday. Um, those are just basically like the ones that I can recommend to you. As far as books go, I'm not going to be doing books this month um, on my channel for two reasons and that is because I only read two full books. And the other reason is because I am starting a new channel for my books so I can post more often about books without annoying you guys because I've really been getting into booktubing and like watching booktubing and I know and I'm not going to neglect you guys. I'm not going to like leave you for booktubing but because I know people have done that before but you know. So if you want to see more about that I will link my new channel in the down bar with that video and you guys can check that out. I will talk to you guys in my next video, I guess. And bye.